Hi, I'm Dan with Pitsco for scienceofspeed.com and today we're here to talk about the hands-on activity, hands-on STEM activity of CO2 racing. And I'm here with Ray who is a curriculum writer at Pitsco and he's taught the dragster activities class for a number of years. How many years, Ray? Yes, I, I taught 29 years and I used uh, CO2 car, car racing for 28 years. Wow, that's a long time. So, how would you describe CO2 racing to someone who's never seen it or witnessed it? CO2 car racing is where the students build a, a car, a dragster type car, and uh, they race that. It's a high energy, high interest activity, but uh, besides just the fact that they're building something with their hands, with woodworking skills, they are uh, learning some science and some math at the same time makes a STEM activity. Okay, and part of that activity is that they race the cars? Part of that activity the is they race a car down a track, much like a, a typical drag race that you might have seen on TV or something. Uh, two cars racing side by side down a track. Okay, so what powers those cars down there? They're, they're powered by a CO2 cartridge that fits in a hole in the back end. Uh, this is set placed in a uh, starting gate, and a firing pin comes and uh, pierces a hole in the end of that and that escaping gas pushes the car down the track fast. Okay, what, why don't the cars just fly off the track? They're uh, underneath, there's a string that runs underneath the car and that runs through a, a set of uh, a pair of screw eyes and that's the steering mechanism that we use for the cars. Okay, so if there are people, I think a lot of people are familiar with uh, Pinewood Derby, that's done by the Scouts. So how would you compare this to Pinewood Derby? Uh, CO2 racing is Pinewood Derby on steroids. Uh, it goes much faster. In Pinewood Derby, the cars uh, go down an, uh, an incline, a ramp, and then they coast out to the finish. With CO2 cars, the cartridge pushes them down the track, and the track is uh, a 20 meter track, which is about 66 feet, and they will, uh, they'll run that track in about a second. So about 35 or 40 miles an hour actual miles per hour. That's a lot faster than Pinewood Derby. A lot faster. So as part of the activity, the students also build their cars, which is a similarity to Pinewood Derby as well. Can you give us a little overview of that process? The, they start out, students start out with a, uh, a tapered block, a wedge-shaped block, has a hole drilled in the back end of it for the cartridge, and uh, they work on a design uh, on a sheet of paper, they draw out the, the uh, side view and top view of their, of their uh, car. Then they trace that onto uh, the car and use uh, some type of a saw, like a, uh, as, as simple as a coping saw or hand saw, or uh, maybe use a band saw to cut that out or a scroll saw and cut the car out. Then they uh, work on it with a rasp and a file and some sandpaper, get it smoothed out so they have a nice smooth car. Uh, they learn to put finish on the car and uh, assemble the wheels and axles. They test the car to make sure that it functions the way they want to. They can do, uh, if they have time, they, have, they can re-engineer the car, uh, modify the design a little bit, uh, make improvements to make it go faster, uh, and then it culminates in a, in a day of racing with other students. So what do students learn? One of the things that we talk about in this is uh, acceleration and mass and the amount of force that's applied. Force is always the same and what's different is the mass of the car and the lighter the mass the faster the car goes. And also uh, we talk about airflow. We can talk about the, the, the different places of uh, wind resistance. Uh, this shape of car versus this shape of car uh, versus uh, a shell car like this. Uh, the aerodynamics plays a, a major role when something's moving that fast. We hope this video has been informative and helpful and we also have some other videos as well as our website scienceofspeed.com and that's science-of-speed.com. Thanks for watching.